The concept of a city on the dark side of the moon is purely speculative at this point. However, if such a city were to exist, it would raise a number of interesting questions and possibilities. My name's Adam Anderson. Let's talk some theories on what if there was a city on the dark side of the moon? Let's dive on in. Firstly, it is important to note that the dark side of the moon does not actually refer to a side of the moon that is permanently dark. Rather, it refers to the side of the moon that is never visible from Earth due to the moon's synchronous rotation. As a result, any city on the dark side of the moon would still experience periods of daylight and darkness. Assuming that a city were to be built on the dark side of the moon, one of the primary challenges would be the lack of resources. The moon has no atmosphere, no water, and no easily accessible sources of food or energy. As a result, any city on the moon would need to be entirely self-sufficient and rely on advanced technologies to sustain itself. Another challenge would be communication. The lack of atmosphere on the moon means that radio waves cannot be used to transmit signals over long distances. This would make communication with Earth and other space-based assets difficult. However, it is possible that a city on the moon could develop its own communication infrastructure using technologies such as laser-based communication systems. Assuming that a city on the dark side of the moon were to exist, it is likely that it would be primarily focused on scientific research and exploration. The moon is a rich source of information about the history of the solar system, and a city on the moon would be in an ideal position to conduct a wide range of scientific experiments and studies. Another interesting possibility is that a city on the moon could serve as a hub for space exploration and travel. The moon's low gravity and lack of atmosphere make it an ideal location for launching spacecraft, and a city on the moon could serve as a base for exploration of other planets and moons in the solar system. Assuming that a city on the dark side of the moon were to exist, it is also possible that it could be used for military or strategic purposes. The moon's position in space and its proximity to Earth make it an ideal location for surveillance and observation of Earth-based assets, and a city on the moon could potentially be used for these purposes. Another potential use for a city on the moon would be as a commercial hub. The moon contains a wide range of minerals and resources that could be valuable for commercial purposes, and a city on the moon could potentially serve as a base for mining and resource extraction operations. Assuming that a city on the dark side of the moon were to exist, it is also possible that it could be used for tourism and entertainment purposes. The moon is a unique and fascinating destination, and a city on the moon could potentially attract visitors from around the world who are interested in exploring and experiencing the lunar environment. Another interesting possibility is that a city on the moon could serve as a backup location for humanity in the event of a global catastrophe. The moon's lack of atmosphere and relatively stable environment make it an ideal location for long-term habitation and a city on the moon could potentially serve as a refuge for humans in the event of a disaster on Earth. Overall, while the concept of a city on the dark side of the moon is purely speculative at this point, there are a number of interesting possibilities and potential uses for such a city. From scientific research and exploration to military and commercial applications, a city on the moon could have a wide range of important and exciting roles to play in the future of space exploration and human activity beyond Earth. I hope you enjoyed our content today. Stay tuned for more interesting videos and ideas.